This has been on Stephen's bucket list for so long. We are staying at like a fully traditional Japanese room. We've woken up early because we are going to go and have our first onsen experience. Welcome to our hotel room. This is so cool. We're staying at like a traditional Japanese hotel or like inn. Okay, I have to take my shoes off first. Yes. So the rules are this little level up here is the house. So you take your shoes off here. And I believe if you open up these, there should be some sandals. Oh yes, there are. Hi. 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 Ah, yes, the slipper. Uh, yes, slipper. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Yes, please. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi. Oh my gosh, Steve, look at this. Wow. wow. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh, it's it's so nice. Everything is okay. Yes, um, yes. Yes, I'm a... yes. Wow. 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 So is this just a sitting area? Yeah. Uh, I got to this has been on Stephen's bucket list for so long. We are staying at like a fully traditional Japanese room and we actually have two tables at the moment. One over here where someone just came and brought us tea. So we have to sit on these little cushioned chairs. Oh, I didn't even notice like, the chairs before. They're like on the ground. So we've got tea that we're going to have and then this area is kind of cool so it's sneaky because it makes it look like you have to sit on cushions but if you actually look down here there's a hole which you can put your legs down and they currently have a fire burning down there to warm us up how cool is that and then you sit in here yeah and it's kind of like your lounge room and, wow. and then during dinner while we're away you come back and then they would have set up your bed Yes, yeah, so this is pretty much, yeah. you guys are probably thinking like, where's the, the where's the bed? You'll see later on, but um, I think we should sit and have a tea. Yeah, let's have yeah. tea. This is pretty much designed over the traditional houses here in Japan. So you have the rice window walls, which we opened up for to let some light in here. And by the way, that view, we didn't even commentate on how incredible Amazing that view views. is. Yes. But yeah, the Japanese are super minimalistic. So this is how their house would be. Cheers, Steve. Oh, it's yeah. green tea. Cheers, Bobs. Cheers. Mmm. It's really good. What are these? Snacks? I don't know. It's all in Japanese. That was so funny with the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a little grandma telling us off. Oh, it's one of those things where it's got the gooey thing inside. We're not very good at knowing what the sweets are here, but... We'll put the name up. Mmm. And it's got the red bean paste inside. Oh, nice. Alrighty guys, we've just come to dinner. We're about to have a feast. We're about so we are having kaisiki, which is like a traditional Japanese way of eating, which we're going to be eating a bunch of stuff. They're going to just keep bringing out food. And this is the first course. We're having like a seafood kind of buffet. We currently have abalone cooking right here. And we've been informed that we're allowed to eat it once the candle goes out. Yeah. So our waitress just came and lit that for us. I also asked her what this is for, and she said she's going to be lighting it later, and it's going to be our broth to cook our crab. Wow. Yeah. So crab is coming, but we've got like a little array of things here. And they say in Japan, they like to eat a little bit of everything. So that's why it's like one little piece of everything. So it's Japanese tappers. Yeah, basically Japanese tappers, but um, oh, blood orange to start. Cheers. Kanpai. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're probably wondering why we're in this outfit and um, we'll explain this later, tomorrow morning. I got a Thank you. sweet. But the fire's out. Oh yes. The fire's out, no puyo's up. 
So this is um, steamed abalone. abalone. Oh. And then with our sashimi, we have raw tuna, we have crab, we have, was it eel? And prawn. And prawn. With sauces. I love sashimi. I love how you're just eating that and then just the waitresses in their traditional dress just walks past in the, <laughs> in the background. Oh, this is such an incredible experience. What dish number are we up to, by the way? Like four? <laughs> oh, wow. They put our futons out for us. This is like a traditional way that you would sleep. So they actually sleep on the ground on like this padded mattress thing. But I am so full from dinner. Oh, that was so same. good. I mean, it's something really cool we're doing in the morning. So we'll see you guys Which tomorrow. Which involve these, but yes. yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Very good. What do you think? I think it looks good. Guys, I'm currently in a yokata and this morning we've woken up early because we are going to go and have our first onsen experience. And if you haven't heard of what an onsen is, you're about to find out. The first thing I want to show you guys is how cool are my socks. Can you see the gap? <laughs> <laughs> Guess who joined the sock party? Yeah! <laughs> Before we leave, you need to wear one of these little coats and that means that you can walk around the hotel looking like this and it's all good. You can even actually wear this to breakfast. You can walk around like this in the hotel. The best hotel ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of etiquette when it comes to going to a Japanese onsen. Now an onsen is pretty much a public bathhouse. It's but, a hot spring. And it's kind of like a bathing spa relaxation experience. And it's really cool because usually you can't film in one, but they actually have a private one here. And we talked to the hotel and they're letting us film. Because usually when you go into an onsen, you go naked. Yes. But they've organized it so we'll have something to cover up so we can film and show you guys the whole experience for if you want to experience one if you come to Japan. <laughs> so nice wow okay so this is our private onsen in here is where you get ready and then you come through here and then this is the shower so you always need to wash off before you go inside an onsen so you'll see in here here's the showering area and out here is our own little private onsen look <gasps> and it's, it's guys it's winter so it's cold outside but this is wow so the first area is the room where you get ready and we actually have two things in the basket. So we actually have a little towel that usually if you're going to be going in naked, which you're meant to, this is the part where you like use to cover yourself. So they said that they could like use it like this to cover yourself and then you'd walk outside. And then you also use this to wash yourself before you go inside the onsen. And then they have a big towel here that you can dry yourself at the end. But if you come through here, this is the little area. So you always wash yourself before you go into an onsen. So you use this towel to wash yourself and you keep this and take it into the onsen with you. You don't take the big towel, you leave that behind. You only take this with you. And a big rule is you never put this towel inside the onsen water. So you use it to wash yourself in the shower in here then you can take it outside by covering yourself once you've washed yourself like this. And then once you go outside, you'll see people, they'll either put the wet towel on the side of the onsen or sometimes you'll see people actually putting the towel like this on their heads and then they'll be like sitting in the onsen and then once they're done, they'll take it off and then they'll unfold it and then they'll cover themselves out and then get back out of the water. But um, yes, yeah, so I think we're going to wash ourselves and then we're gonna go outside and check out the onsen. Yeah. And now we are ready for... Goodness, it's cold outside! <laughs> oh, that is, is so nice. This is a little outfit they gave me and they said that people will wear this to see if like, they've had surgery or something where they want to cover themselves. But normally, people don't cover themselves. But for the video, we're covering ourselves. Are you ready? Yeah. How is it going to be? Oh, we've just washed ourselves, by the way. So yeah, we washed ourselves in here and now we're ready to go in. Oh, that is so nice. And this is hot spring water. <gasps> it's super hot, Steve. Nice. Yes. Ah, it's super hot. <laughs> you got your towel on your head. <laughs> hey, this is how you're meant to do it. 
It's super uh -huh. hot. Oh, wow. This is so nice. I can't believe the sun isn't even up yet. <gasps> this is so cool. Such an amazing way to start our morning. I know. Once we've done this, I feel like we need to go check out the public pool. We're not allowed to film in there, but I feel like we need to have the proper public experience after this. Usually because it's like a spa experience, that's the closest I can say to it. You would probably sit there in relaxation. You could probably talk to your friends, but it's probably there to sit there in silence to just relax and enjoy yourself. And then you just sit here. And I think the main reason they don't want you to put the towel in the hot springs is because it might contaminate it with yeah, they your suds keep, and all of that. They want to keep the water as clean as possible. And that's why they make you wash yourself first and stuff like that. But they say that the waters are very, very good for your skin. So I think we're just going to soak in here and then we're going to brave it and try and do the public. Yeah, we'll try public. With the public, by the way, it's always boys and girls, so you can never go together. So we're going to have to do it by ourselves and um, brave it out. This it's is so just cool such a cool experience and like and so unique. And if you're too nervous to do the public pools, you can always try and do it privately first and see how you feel. But uh, yeah, I think it's like kind of a very Japanese experience that you definitely should have here in Japan. literally been sitting in here for well over an hour the sun has come up and I think we probably should go to breakfast <laughs> and there's bamboo we didn't even realize it's like we're in a little bamboo forest alrighty guys we are now checking out of the hotel but I totally recommend staying here if you're looking for a place to have like that traditional Japanese experience because you can stay in a traditional room, go in a traditional onsen and have a traditional dinner. And if you want to get here from Hamishi Station, there's actually a bus that runs at 3.30 and it takes you to the hotel every single day. And it is such a nice place. Do it guys, like this is needs to be on your Japanese bucket <laughs> list doing this whole cultural experience. But all right, we're going to a new place. Why is it always you that gets invited into all the kitchens that we visit? <laughs> <laughs> you can't come to Japan without trying to win something in the ball game.